On our last day in Reykjavik, the day we left, we made time to go visit the local pagans. And we arrived a little bit early for their Saturday coffee clatch to find Hilmar, and I don't remember his last name, who's the high priest or Bodhi of the organization, there picking up a shovel. And he said he was going tree planting and asked if we wanted to come along. No, Sean said, can we come along? And he said, yes. So he took us to a greenhouse and he picked up a tree and took us out to the older parliament. Remember I mentioned early on that there was an older parliament, an older thing? Well, this is the oldest thing in Iceland and it most certainly was pagan. And there we had the opportunity to help plant their sacred grove. That tree he picked up was one of many they've been nurturing over time because they hoped to build a sacred grove there. And one of the members of the organization who'd been tree planting over the hill when we arrived said there's always some sort of foreigner who comes to help us plant these trees the last time it was Germans. And so we got to help the pagans plant their sacred grove in Iceland, which was really cool. This is just a picture of the coffee clutch itself. I wouldn't, um, and Sean would not, show any pictures of any of the sacred tools inside the building because it's not done unless you have permission. However, this is a picture of the architectural outline for that temple you all heard about. It's going to be a modern affair, not something old-fashioned. It's going to have a lovely stream running through it and plenty of natural light. And Hilma said himself that he wanted for it to contribute to the architectural landscape of Reykjavik. I really wish them all every, every good thing and every blessing as they build this temple and continue to build their sacred grove and continue to nurture paganism in Iceland. And last but not least, our cherry tree at home, there in the throes of its blossoming in the early summer.